space expansion for Astrobotics facility. Um, right now, uh, we have about 11 full-time employees, and we are anticipating by the end of this year that um, that number will grow to probably about 20 people. Uh, by the end of 2015, we're uh, hoping that we will probably have around 50 employees. Um, so, based off of where we are right now, located in the strip district, we're going to be expanding from the first floor to the second floor. Uh, so, right now, I'm helping to design and kind of get the budget going with things to expand on the second floor. Uh, Richard Kitchell, who is our manufacturing engineer, um, he's going to be helping to design and figure out what we kind of need for the first floor, which is going to turn into um, a clean space and uh, our electronics lab. Okay, my name is Fraser Kitchell. I'm a manufacturing engineer at Astrobotic, and we're talking today about the space build out that we're doing. So, we recently received a loan, and we're trying to dream up our ideal manufacturing space for building a lunar lander. So, this board here shows our roughly our, our space layout, which is this existing space here that we're in. Uh, this is all going to be transformed into a new kind of facility. About half the room is going to be a clean space. Um, we're thinking a class 100,000 clean space. Uh, uh, we're going to have a gowning area where people can gown up to prepare to enter a clean room, um, an assembly area, and an electronics lab where we could assemble and um, build our final space articles. We'll also have a crane in this clean facility. Uh, we're we're going to have a 15 foot high ceiling, and this crane will allow us to lift the lander off the ground, spin it, assemble things underneath it, attach our payloads, and that sort of thing. So some of the challenges of doing this are figuring out what we need to, to design the space, figuring out what our payloads will need, and then designing a facility that's affordable but also meets all of our specs.